Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Transport aviation has long been the workhorse of worldwide logistics, with the capacity to move oversized loads, aid to devastated areas, and wartime supplies great distances. And among the best aircraft ever built are three giants that stand head and shoulders over their peers. The American Lockheed Galaxy C-5, the Soviet-era Antonov An-124 Ruslan, and the single of its kind Antonov An-225 Mariya. Not merely have those aircraft broken records, but led in some of the best feats of logistics in history. The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy has paced U.S. military airlift capability over several decades, with a promise to move enormous volumes of cargo over long ranges. It arrived in aviation skies in 1970 and was a key player in strategic air mobility right off the bat. The C-5 was designed to move oversized military equipment and was a response to the Pentagon's demand for aircraft that can take tanks and helicopters and even other aircraft parts. The 247 feet length with a wingspan of 222.7 feet makes it as large as some of the largest aircraft ever built. Its most impressive feature was the flip-up nose, which opened to allow loading from both the front and back, greatly simplifying operational control. One of the most famous humanitarian operations of this plane was Operation Baby Lift in 1975, at the end of the Vietnam War. The C-5 Galaxy was used to evacuate thousands of Vietnamese children to the United States and other countries for adoption. However, things did not go smoothly at first. Tragedy happened with a degrading plane losing pressure and being forced to make a landing. Against all probabilities, crewmen rescued many who were on board through a sheer miracle, and it marked the C-5's participation in one of the largest ever peacetime airlifts. Along with its human peacekeeping operations, the C-5 was also used on covert and tactical combat operations. In 1988's Chad-Libya War, American agents discovered that Libyan troops had abandoned the latest Mi-24 Hind attack helicopter in the desert. The government of the United States planned a covert operation called Operation Mount Hope 3 to gain control over the helicopter to American forces while it was still in the desert to prevent it from being seized by enemies. The United States sent a C-5 plane to Chad, and at nightfall with darkness at hand, American personnel clandestinely picked up the helicopter in the desert. The aircraft landed on a bumpy airstrip in very bumpy terrain, loaded the Soviet-produced hind into its belly, and departed again without being discovered. The helicopter was successfully transported to America and disassembled and examined by American intelligence to yield important information regarding Soviet fighter aircraft. The C-5 over time has played a vital role in hundreds of key operations, transporting troops and equipment in nearly every American conflict since Vietnam. It was invaluable in the Gulf War, airlifting enormous numbers of Abrams tanks and Apache helicopters to the Middle East. And in Iraq and Afghanistan, it transported everything from armored trucks to priority medical supplies. The mid-air refueling capability of the aircraft enabled it to fly nearly limitless distance and found itself to be one of the top workhorses of the U.S. Air Force. Notwithstanding its enormous size, however, C-5 also has performed some extremely difficult jobs. In 1998, it was used to move a complete communication satellite from California to Cape Canaveral to be blasted off into space. The communication satellite was sensitive and top-secret equipment to be treated with extreme care while being transported. The fact that it was transported without incident through the C-5's top-of-the-line climate control and shock-absorbing capabilities said a great deal about this aircraft's versatility beyond purely military applications. As technology continued to evolve, Lockheed built a newer model called the C-5M Super Galaxy with newer avionics and more efficient engines to ensure that the aircraft will remain around for many years to come. The C-5 Galaxy has been among the best and longest-serving airplanes to ever take to the skies. A monster airplane ranging from troops to heavy machinery to covert payloads. However, in the aircraft industry, the United States had another equally powerful opponent on the opposite side of the world. The world's largest military airlifter still flying today remains Ukrainian aircraft manufacturer Antonov's An-124 Ruslan, built in the 1980s. The Soviet Union's initial response to the C-5 Galaxy originally built to counter it. AN-124 later developed a reputation as being the airplane with more lifting capability and versatility than anything else. 
Having a capacity to carry up to 150 tons in load, AN-124 can accommodate some of the heaviest loads in the world and actually surpasses the C-5 in load. It has already achieved many world records to date, including a record in 1987 of lifting 171.2 tons to a height of 35,300 feet. Unlike the C-5s that largely have their applications in the military, the AN-124 Ruslan is actually a real-world workhorse that sees considerable commercial lifting application. It has transported everything ranging from gas turbines and satellites to oil drilling rigs and locomotives. Its unique landing gear and tire design also equip it to land on unprepared runways like ice. It is therefore the best option to commute to remote locations. One of the AN-124's best recorded operations was transporting a 109-ton locomotive to Ireland that other planes at the time could not accomplish. The AN-124 has also played a significant role in space delivery with full space modules and heavy launch vehicle pieces being transported to space agencies worldwide. The AN-124 has played a dominant role in rescue missions with sending vital supplies to areas that have been struck by natural disasters such as earthquakes, flooding, and pandemics. The AN-124 continues to play a role in heavy lift operations to this day, with Antonov Airlines still flying this engineering feat around the world. And finally, the most interesting part, the AN-225 Miraya was no average transportation aircraft, it was a flying icon. Built in the 1980s at the height of the Cold War years, it remains to this day the largest and heaviest aircraft ever built and had a record-setting capacity to carry 250 tons of cargo. The baptismal name she was given, Miraya, or Dream in Ukrainian, is a reflection of the very dream and technology poured into her building. Originally built to carry out the Soviet Union space shuttle Buran, Miraya was a technology icon. Its six enormous turbofan engines of type Progress D-18T granted it a record-lifting power to carry loads that no other aircraft could move. It still stands at 290-foot wingspan as the largest flying aircraft to ever have existed. It stunned the world with its load capacity, setting records in April 2001 with four-engine generator weighing 189,980 kilograms. Apart from records, Miraya was also deployed to humanitarian missions at frequent intervals, with it being used to fly aid materials like medical supplies amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020 alone, it flew a record 1,000 cubic meters of medical supplies in a single flight that broke pandemic-related transportation mission records. It was also deployed to send disaster relief materials worldwide, including after the 2010 Haitian earthquake, with it flying in urgently needed supplies and rescue trucks. One of the very fascinating Mariah flights was performed in 2009 when it transported a gigantic 189-ton generator to Armenia. The logistical achievement had also seen it making a refueling stop at Ukraine, with scores of spectators showing up to watch it take to the air. Aviation fans worldwide tracked it every time it was due to fly and would welcome it to every airport it landed at with open arms. A worldwide sensation, the AN-225 drew people wherever it landed. It would attract crowds to watch it land with its enormous presence, and their landings at other airfields were usually high-profile events. It had no competitor aircraft in sizes and capacities and was a desired tool in air logistics around the world. Unfortunately, the world lost the AN-225 in February of 2022, when Russia hit the airport in Hostomol near Kyiv with missiles. It was at this time that Miraya was in one of the hangars. As a unique aircraft of its category, losing it was like closing a page in aviation's book. All is not lost, though. There is word that a second AN-225 exists and was partially built with 70% of the structure completed. If funding and help come through, that's possible that the dream of seeing Miraya flying again can become a reality. Ukraine has already hinted strongly that it would like to resuscitate Mariah, and Antonov engineers have assured that blueprints, needed hardware, and technical skills still exist. Although the project is enormous and involves hundreds of millions of U.S. dollars, aviation buffs around the world and aeronautic professionals continue to insist that it must be revived. The AN-225 Mariah, AN-124 Ruslan, and C-5 Galaxy are all legends of airlift aviation. 
Although the Galaxy C5 continues to be operated as part of the United States military's airlift capacity and AN-124 Ruslan rules commercial heavy lift transportation thrones to this day, the Mariah has a place in aviation histories of their very own. Though it may never come back in original form again, hopes of resurrection continue to keep dreams alive to bring it back to life. What are your thoughts on these legendary aircraft? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.